Okay, everyone. Let's solve this problem simultaneously. We have AB plus AB equals 8. This is our equation 1. Now, equation 2 is AB. Okay, that's A plus B equals 8. This is equation 2. And if you look at equation 1, you can take a step from there. Because AB plus AB will give us 2AB equals 8. Right? This is still our equation 1. We have not changed anything. And I can still divide this by 2 and divide this by 2. This goes with this. Now I have AB to be equal to 4. Let's still call this our equation 1. Mind you, what we have here, AB equals 4, is the same thing as AB plus AB equals 8. Okay, now from our equation 2, where we have um, A plus B equals 8, I want to make B the subject. So that B will now be 8 minus A. We have 8 minus um, A, and this becomes our equation 3. Mind you, we have equation 1, 2, and 3 now. So we're going to put this equation, um, we're going to put this equation 3 into equation 1, which is a, b equals 4. Now, I am going to write a first, then in place of b, I open bracket and I write 8 minus a, then everything is equal to 4. What do we do? Open the bracket. We have to take note of this equation 3 because we need it to get the value of b. Now, a times a or a times 8, that's 8a minus a times a will give us minus a squared. Then this is equal to 4. By the way, this is a quadratic equation. And I want us to rearrange minus a squared plus 8a minus 4 equals 0. What I did here is to bring 4 to the left and it becomes negative. Now, we have to remove this negative. So we multiply everything by negative 1. And it gives us the opposite of the signs that we that we had so this will become positive this will become negative this becomes positive 4 and there's nothing like positive or negative 0 so we want to solve this right and at this point we look for the method to use and um, trust me we will be using the formula method but in the formula we are going to have a so let's turn this around as we get x squared minus 8x plus 4 equals 0. Do not forget that x stands for the a. Now, what is the formula? x is equal to minus b plus or minus. We have square root of b squared minus 4ac and everything we divide it by 2a. Now, what is our a? You need to take note of that. Okay, we have a to be equal to 1, the coefficient of x squared, our b to be equal to minus 8, the coefficient of x, and our c to be equal to positive 4. Now, x here is equal to minus b. What is minus b? We're going to have minus minus 8, because b itself is minus 8, right? Then plus or minus, we have square root of minus 8. In bracket, you square this. Then minus 4 times a times 4. How did I get that? If this 4 is in the formula, a is 1 and c is 4, just like we have over there. Then we divide this by 2 times 1. If we take a step further, our x will be equal to 8 plus or minus. Minus 8 squared will give us 64. 
then minus 4 times 1 times 4 is 16. Then we divide the whole of this by 2. Okay, so we are still continuing. Our x is now 8 plus or minus square root of um, 48. Then we divide this by 2. I don't want to divide this yet because I this also has to do with this um, root. So our x is 8 plus or minus square root of, what is 48? 48 is 16 multiplied by 3. Now 16 is a perfect square, so it can be there as we divide by 2. Now to continue, we have x to be equal to 8 plus or minus Square root of 16 is 4. Then we have root 3. And then we divide this by 2. Now 2 can go into both of them. 2 will go here. The same 2 will go there. So that our x now will be equal to 8 plus or minus 2 root 3. By the way, no longer 8, but 4. Because 2 has gone into 8, and it's giving us 4. 2 into 4 is giving us 2, then root 3 comes down. We cannot add this 2 because this is attached to the root. What do we do? Let's continue. Okay, so this is what we have, meaning that x is equal to 4 plus 2 root 3 or we have 4 minus 2 root 3 so we have the two solutions but we need to okay mind you that this x is for the a so our a now is 4 plus 2 root 3 or 4 minus 2 root 3 so we will put this into equation 3 and what is our equation 3? B equal to 8 minus A. So now that we have the value of A, we put into this. So B will be 8 minus open bracket. I'll pick the first value of A. And it is 4 plus 2 root 3. Now B is 8 minus 4 minus 2 root 3. The negative here will open the bracket. So we have b to be equal to 8 minus 4 is 4 minus 2 root 3. So that b is equal to um, what we have here, right? So we already have this. Let's take note. So this is the value of b. Now, what do we do? When a, let me turn this to a, when a equals 4 plus 2 root 3. What is the value of b? Our b is equal to 4 minus 2 root 3, right from here. Okay, now we will still get another value of b because we still have b to so be equal to 8 minus a, and our b now will be equal to 8 minus um, open bracket. a this time around is 4 minus 2 root 3. We open the bracket with a negative as we get b equals 8 minus 4 plus 2 root 3. Now our b is equal to 8 minus 4. 8 minus 4 is 4, then plus 2 root 3. So what are we saying? We are equally saying that when a is equal to 4 minus 2 root 3, our b is equal to 4 plus 2 root 3. So at this point, we have solved the equation completely.